This is Stuart Webb, Business Success Mentor, author, podcast host, speaker, CEO, and founder of The Complete Approach with another one on one take video blogs, all the mistakes stay in. In today's video, we're delving into a crucial subject, the art of scaling. In today's competitive business landscape, scaling is an essential goal for many entrepreneurs and organisations. However, it's not always easy to determine the right strategies and actions. Many factors come into play when trying to grow a business successfully. But by shifting your focus from what you are to what you want to be, you can unlock the potential for significant expansion and success. So are you ready to take your business to the next level? Buckle up because we're about to explore a key theme that has the potential to revolutionize your approach. But first, let's clarify the difference between scaling and growing a business. Many entrepreneurs confuse these two concepts because they are distinct. Growing businesses simply means expanding in size, revenue and potential customer base. However, scaling a business involves creating systems, procedures and a solid foundation to sort sustainable and long term growth. The power of vision is absolutely critical to this. Every successful business journey starts with some sort of vision, but by envisioning what you want your business to be, you create a roadmap for growth and inspire yourself and your team to work towards that goal. Instead of getting caught up in the day-to-day operations, take a step back and ask yourself, what do I want my business to look like in the future, in five or 10 years time? Visualize that success. Visualize the success you want to achieve and let it guide your decision-making process. Think about the iconic brands that have left an indelible mark on the world. They have been, they've, been, they've envisioned themselves as industry leaders, disruptors and innovators. Amazon didn't just start an online bookstore, it aimed to become the Earth's most customer-centric company. Okay, so now you can see how the power of vision leads into this. So let's explore how shifting your focus can lead to truly transformative growth. So how can you apply this principle to your business? Well, it's all about shifting your paradigm. Instead of focusing solely on your current products, services or customer base, you need to redirect your energy towards the much bigger picture. What does your business look like five years from now? How can you solve even bigger problems for your customers? What what is it that you are aiming to do to make their lives easier? In the next section, let's discuss the importance of continuously learning and seeking outside expertise, which I talked about only a week or so ago in one of these lessons. So by Growing, you must be open to learning new things. Never stop educating yourself on industry trends or marketing strategies and new technologies. Companies like Apple, Google, Microsoft didn't become titans by clinging to their initial offerings. They expanded their horizons. They explored new territories and ventured into completely uncharted waters. Remember, the key isn't to abandon your core values, but to amplify them, apply them to new avenues, new things that you can do. After learning from the big players, it is important to consider the operational norms concept to enhance business growth even further. So what do I mean by outgrowing your operational norms? They're systems, the backbone of any business. They're trusty companions, but here's the twist. If you want to scale, they must evolve. Think of it as upgrading from a bicycle to a turbocharged car. 
What got you here won't get you there. So you need more efficiency, more automation and adaptability to become your new mantras. The path to growth means shifting from how it's always been done to how can we do it even better? I built businesses based upon this idea of constantly looking about what we've done today will never get us to where we want to be tomorrow. You need a solid foundation established in operational norms. So let's confidently pivot towards our next exploration. And that's to embrace change and adaptation. Adaptation is not an option, it's a necessity. To reach the peak of that metaphorical mountain, you need to embrace change and adaptability. Businesses that successfully scale understand that the road ahead is not a straight path. Market trends, consumer preferences and technology are constantly evolving. Your willingness to pivot and incorporate these changes will determine your growth trajectory. The biggest risk is not taking any risk. In a world that's changing quickly, the only strategy that is guaranteed to fail is not taking risks. That was Mark Zuckerberg. So you need to embrace setbacks as stepping stones in the pursuit of growth. Setbacks are inevitable. Products might flop, marketing campaigns might miss the mark, the competition might heat up unexpectedly. But remember, failure isn't the opposite of success. It's a stepping stone towards it. Each setback teaches you something about your market, your strategy, or about yourself. So embrace failures as opportunities for growth and improvement. My own personal tumble and turnaround. Back in the early days of my startups, I thought I had to be the next best thing. I poured my heart and soul and savings into it, the only to see the first falter. It was disheartening to say the least, but looking back, that stumble was my launching pad. It led me to reevaluate my approach, to dig deeper into market research and eventually pivot into a new and successful direction. That failure wasn't the end, it was the springboard to my first real success. Now that I've learned those that I've learned how those setbacks can propel us forward, I need to get you to transition to the next topic and explore the importance of, of having a strong team around you and building a really strong team because that's another real key to scaling your business. And you cannot achieve it alone. You need to surround yourself with not only dedicated teams and experts, but those people that share your vision and they are crucial for your success. Ensure that each of your team members understands and believes in your long-term goals. Encourage open communication, collaboration, and a real culture of continuous feedback and improvement. Building a strong team aligned with your vision can overcome challenges and make your scaling journey more sustainable. Transitioning from a solo operator to a team leader can be challenging. I once struggled to let go of control, fearing that others wouldn't match my dedication. However, by trusting and empowering my team, I witnessed exponential growth I could never have achieved alone. It's time to shift our attention to another crucial aspect of scaling, and that's really connecting with your customers. So for me, uh, building strong relationships with customers is crucial for true business scaling. Listen to their feedback, provide exceptional service and foster a sense of community, create loyal fans, retain customers, and attracting new ones through that, through word of mouth. Is it time for you to scale now, my fellow business venturers? So here's the bottom line. The secret to scaling doesn't lie in where you are right now. Your business is and always will be a journey. And the time to scale is always now. The journey of a thousand steps begins with the first ones. Gather your team and create that vivid vision that will help you to move from where you are to where you need to be. Break down your scaling process into actionable milestones. Remember, it's not about becoming a completely different entity overnight. It's about the evolution that aligns with your dreams 
and purpose. Tap the link below to secure your cheat sheet for remarkable business growth and expansion based upon what I've just been telling you about in these last few minutes. That's at www.scientificvaluebuildingmachine.online. That's www.scientificvaluebuildingmachine.online. And also click and like and subscribe buttons to stay tuned for more business insights and inspiration. So that's me signing off for today. I look forward to speaking to you again in the very near future.